have some products to show you guys today from the J. Manuel Classic Beauty Collection. So I have powders, I have a lipstick, eyeshadow, eyeliner, and I'm going to do a full face using all these products. I'm excited. I definitely got the wrong shade of foundation. Um, yeah, I'm going to use this as a bronzer, but I'll make it work. Um, so I have a little bit of foundation on right now, but I'm going to start with my eyes like normal. So we have this cute little palette. It is called Gaze. It is a quad. So four shades in here, like a plum color, a light shimmery white shade, a silver titanium shade, and then what is that? Just a brown. I'm going to take the light shade, the white-ish shade. I kind of have like some sort of a vision in my mind and I'm going to press this onto my lids. Wow. That's like very, very pigmented. I'm going to take the silvery shade and it's kind of a little bit shimmery. I would call it more of a satin color. And I'm going to take that into the crease. And then I'm gonna go in with the brown shade on a smaller brush. And right on the outer corner. I'm going to take the plum shade and that is going to go all underneath my eye. I'm going to put um, some black liquid liner on top and then I'm going to pop on some lashes and I'll be right back. So I just popped on um, some lashes. I did a little bit of liner. I did black liquid liner, but then I took the brown color in the palette and I just kind of like smudged over it to make it a little bit softer. Um, and then I added a little mascara to the bottom, lower lashes, and that's it. I really super impressed with this eye look. Um, it was, it took me literally five minutes, so easy. The longest part of it was putting on false lashes, which has nothing to do with this palette, but like the shadows blended seamlessly, so. Very excited about that. I don't usually wear cool tone colors, but I actually think it's pretty. First off, I'm gonna set my face with this powder. Another thing to note is that if you go on the J. Manuel Beauty app on your phone, which I downloaded, you can um, match your color if you send them a picture of you. I had a picture on there that was like from a couple months ago when I was like really heavy into self tanning and I haven't self tanned in a while, so that's why wrong color. But anyways, this is the number three, the medium three. This is still a little bit darker than my skin, but it's workable at least. This is actually like a really decent coverage foundation for being like a pressed powder. Um, it's very creamy. Feels very, very buttery, which is really nice. That's what the skin looks like. I think it looks really good. All right, let's try this stuff out. I'm really, really curious. So powder to cream foundation. Looks like this. Has like a really big cap. I'm trying to figure out if there's anything in there, but I don't think there is. And I think what's cool about this is that you can work from this little rounded dome cap. I'm gonna feel this powder. It's a loose powder. Oh, weird. Okay, so it starts out powder and it turns to a cream. That is so weird. I really wish this was my color. Okay, we're gonna try it as a bronzer and it's only like two shades darker than my skin. The texture feels really nice though. I think that actually looks pretty good. Also, it didn't disturb any of the makeup underneath it, which was cool because it is a powder to cream. Um, so you would think it would like lift off the powder and the and the liquid that I put on before, but it actually didn't at all. Just a little hint of blush to give myself more of an awake look. 
And then we're gonna go onto the lips and I have a lipstick in this crazy bright color. Let's try this. This is called Risqué and it's a super fun, super bold color with the eye look I have going on. I don't think I would do this lip color. Luckily, I got a gloss also, and the gloss is in Charisma. So let's try this one. Oh, I forgot that I had an eyeliner too. This is the eyeliner in Hex. It says lip and eye pencil, but it's brown, so I shouldn't put on my lips. It's really dark. Let's try it in my waterline. It actually went on pretty creamy in the waterline, and I actually like this look even better now that I put something in my waterline. Who would have thought but um it's a pretty brown color i'll just have to see how like long wearing it is so let me do um let me do a little lip liner though on my lips just to add a little shape this is hourglass eden and then this gloss is actually really cool it has a silicone spatula for an applicator this is a good nude. It's like a brown nude, but it's not a nude that washes you out. Actually, everything I've tried from this um, makeup line, I've actually really liked. Mostly I'm super impressed with the eyeshadows. I felt like I did the look so quickly and they blended like so easily. Even the eyeliner glid really well in my waterline. Um, and I really need to get the cream the powder to cream foundation in my shade because that even just as a bronzer it looks really pretty i hope you guys like this i look forward to trying out some more products from this company if you want to see anything else from me let me know and i'll talk to you soon bye